what's good y'all hello hi how are you it's it's nighttime <laughs> girl Ooh. let me sit down get comfy oh let me show you guys this little uh, stomach update let me close this damn pantry girl i feel like every time i sit down to record here this pantry is open also i feel like i record a lot of vlogs right here i don't know guys I, I i'm always either in the kitchen or the living room or my room hopefully you guys don't like get tired of seeing like the same shit behind me all the time i feel like i'm always vlogging in right here in this area let me close that so um i wanted to just sit down today and update you guys here on the vlog on like what's going on wow you guys i'm i'm 26 weeks in two days by the time you're watching this i'm 22 weeks 22 26 weeks I mean, I'm technically 26 weeks already. Wow. Oh my God, it's flying by so, 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 so fast. Okay, first of all, let's show you guys a little um, bump date. Oh, it's a little chilly. Oh, that hurt. Okay, so this is the bump date. I definitely feel like I'm getting huge, like huge. I feel like there's literally a basketball underneath there, y'all. Like I can't even suck this in. Even if I sucked it in, I can't. It's so crazy. Like, I am pregnant, y'all. I'm pregnant. I am aware that I'm pregnant. I've been aware that I'm pregnant for like freaking six months already. But what I'm saying is, it's just so crazy. Like, what do you mean? This is a baby in there? What? Really? Is it not fat? It's not taco? Not a burrito, it's a whole baby. What? God. also you guys um we have a lot going on around the house we're currently painting well not this side of the house okay let me just show y'all real quick like this side of the house so you know how i had done like the kitchen and stuff um these cabinets used to be like literally brown like dark like a dark brown color and the walls were like a khaki color if you have seen my older vlogs or just followed me when when i would post about like the kitchen before it was very different very i feel like the colors kind of just dulled everything down because the lady that lived here well the previous owner she liked very antique vibes and stuff so the kitchen was one of the first things i wanted to do we tackled the kitchen first well we've been here <laughs> i'm acting like i'm like oh yeah we've done all this like the kitchen was the first thing we did but it took a while i mean i've been here for literally four years this year and I just did this kitchen like last summer yeah the reason I did the kitchen was because you know that's when quarantine came in into effect like in April so I just took advantage of the time and I was like I'm gonna do what I want to do with this house finally because I feel like I've had these plans forever but I never got into them because I just didn't have time also like I'm literally just having a normal conversation and I'm out of breath like for really that's another thing like i get out of breath i did do a kitchen tour if you guys didn't see that it's actually right here on my vlog channel i posted it for vlogmas in my office i also did an office tour here on this channel as well this whole side has been completely painted and stuff so this side of the house looks more modern i feel like this is the only side of the house that looks modern actually <laughs> this house right now there's a lot of boxes everywhere there's a lot of like paper on the walls there's tape everywhere there's furniture everywhere, there's a lot everywhere because they're painting the entrance now. So everything's like scattered. Like literally, oop, if you look over there, I don't know how much you can see, but there's like random couches, random chairs, mirrors. Here is a clip of day one. So today we had the painters come in and they're starting the entire painting of this house like this this is what i mean by the entrance like they're painting all this it's crazy you guys so this is the original color of the walls it's like a um, creamy color but i kind of wanted to open it up with like those colors you guys see this and then this like it just looks so much brighter so they started today and they basically taped down everything all the edges and then also you know um covered all the floors oh my god we have to change that freaking battery on the fire alarm which one is it i don't even know which one it is but it's so annoying covered everything up they took out these you know everything is taped down and they kind of just went in you know like not even the first coat just kind of like i guess cutting edges and also just going in you know it's the first day it's gonna take like a week i'm assuming i'm so excited you guys like this is the 
color that I mentioned because we had painted that side of the house already but we wanted to do this main area it just brings so much light into this room I'll show you guys another day when the Sun is fully coming in because right now it's already the Sun's going down the railing on top and we're doing it black so just like the the wood part so it could stand against the white it's just moving so fast and the painters came in and like I didn't even know how much they were gonna get done in one day. Like, I thought they were just gonna tape down the sides and stuff. Girl, they put a whole ass, like, first coat and everything. And today is day four. They're actually gonna go ahead and sand these down and make them black. So, these are the walls right now. Everything's taped up. I wanna put shelves here and shelves here. Or I might put, like, a big old tree right here, like a ficus tree. What's good, bun? Do you want your hot dog? No? Okay. This is the color that like the whole house was. Like the entire house, you guys, was this color. Everybody has their own style and preferences, but it's just too dual for me. It's like a khaki color. Almost like green undertones. I don't know, girl. It's not for me. They obviously still need to go around here to like, I think it's because they haven't cut the edges, so that's why they're gonna go in here. But that's what's going on, you guys. There's a lot I wanted to do with this house for a while, you know? And I've just been in this zone currently. I think it has a lot to do with me giving birth in three months and knowing that I gotta get onto this stuff now because once I have my baby, you know, I'm gonna be dedicating all my time to my baby. Like, I'm gonna be a new mom. I'm sure I'm gonna be occupied literally 24-7 with my kid. So which I'm so excited about. We, we talk about it all the time. But also at the same time, I know I'm gonna miss my belly and I know I'm gonna miss her there. Like there, even there's times now where I look down on my belly and we're like, you know, we're having like a bonding moment or and I when we're like touching my belly and he'll like poke it and she'll, she'll hit back, you know, like she'll kick back. And we're always talking about how we're gonna miss that. But also we're so excited to have her here with us. Like she's here with us, like here. We want, her to be in like our arms we're so excited but i do know that we'll be like really really busy so anything that i want to get done with this house that i've been wanting to get done that i've been putting off i gotta get it done like yesterday <laughs> sometime in april i will be giving birth that blows my mind how fast it's going by you guys i truly feel like i've been cherishing every single day but as the time flies by i start to think i'm like oh my gosh wait slow down you're like it's going by so fast i don't know so many emotional moments you guys i feel like i vlog and you know i've sh i've showed you guys updates and stuff and i'm always updating you guys with like you know how we're so excited and stuff um but obviously behind the cameras too i have my moments where i get so emotional because i'm just so so happy it's like one of those things that you know as the days go out like you know as the days go by and as the weeks go by i'm like oh my god yes we made it another week and i'm like living in the moment and i'm so excited and so happy but when i like truly like lay down and really think about it like i've gotten emotional like when i really just sit down and let it sink in it's crazy like we've talked about it you know we have moments where we're talking about it at night and i'm like dude I feel like I, I could control my emotions more, a little more now. In the beginning, I feel like I couldn't control my emotions for shit. But I feel like I'm like starting to be able to control them like a little more. Who am I kidding, girl? I cry for everything, but like we have moments when we're literally talking and we're like, yo, like we wanted this so bad. Like we wanted this so bad and we're here. Like we are at 20 so weeks, like, you know, as the time goes by, like we're always talking about like i can't believe we're here like how much did we dream about this like what the fuck? so crazy it blows my mind it blows my mind it blows my mind <laughs> i'm just like really happy and it's just getting more real every day obviously because like we're like three months away and i'm like oh my gosh what my due date's technically May 1st, you guys, but my doctor has already made it clear that I'm not I'm not going to, to May 1st. I'm getting induced at least one week before. So even if it's a week before, two weeks before, three weeks before, I'm having an April baby if she doesn't come sooner on her own. So crazy. In the beginning of my pregnancy, I remember always thinking, because, you know, my past pregnancy, I made it to, well, the past one. The past one was a really, really early loss. But you know what, the one before that was um, 
10 weeks and now looking back i'm like oh my gosh 10 weeks that was so early on but you know that's the fur furthest i had made it early in this pregnancy like before i even announced or anything i remember thinking like imagine when i turned 12 weeks like what so when i did turn 12 weeks I couldn't believe it. I absolutely could not believe it. And I remember thinking like, whoa, oh my God, I look back at 12 weeks. It actually feels like a while ago. I feel like 12 weeks feels like a while ago. I literally remember going to, um, where did we go? Lucille's, we went to Lucille's with Myra. And I remember she was like, I can't believe you're 12 weeks pregnant. I was like 12 or 13 weeks. And she was saying like, are you going to announce soon? Are you going to wait? And I was like, I don't know. Like originally I thought I would announce around that time. But like it just every week went by and I was like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to announce. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I had so many moments where I wanted to announce and I was like, no, it's probably too early. At one point I thought about announcing until like Thanksgiving or Christmas, like dead ass. Until I was like five, six months pregnant. So you guys would be like barely finding out like what? But it felt perfect at the time I did it. I was 16 weeks and I was just kind of ready to tell the world because I was so excited. I know people do it at different times, you guys. Like, there's people that do it, like, right from the beginning. And, I mean, that's awesome, you know. Like, I just don't have, like, after what I went through, I don't think I would ever, with any of my pregnancies, have the confidence to announce immediately just because you just never know what's going to happen. But, I mean, it's amazing that... No, it doesn't that's not the case with everybody but you know you announce whenever the hell you want to announce um you can announce the freaking day you find out if you want to you know so i hit 12 weeks and then i remember thinking i can't believe i'm gonna be like 15 weeks one day like i'm gonna be 16 weeks one day how what would it be like to be four months pregnant like i can't believe i would be there you know like i would think about it literally all the time um depending on where we're at like for example right now that i'm 26 weeks i'm like here and then I always think, what is it gonna be like when I'm literally waddling around with my big ass belly at 35 weeks? Or even 30 weeks. Like I think of those times, but I remember in the beginning I would be like, 12 weeks, what is that gonna be like? What is this gonna be like? Am I gonna feel baby before 20 weeks? When it, you know, you ask yourself so many questions. Before you get pregnant, you're always wondering like, when am I gonna feel baby move? What's good? What's good, y'all? So I got a haircut, but it looks pretty bad right now. It's funny. I mean, it's not done right now. Dude, I'm hungry. Queen, I'm hungry. You're not hungry? Yeah. We ate when we woke up. It's what like, do you want to eat? I don't know. We could make something in the air fryer. <gasps> we guys, we got an air fryer. Yeah, How the hell did I not mention we got an air fryer? Yeah, that air fryer is magical. I'm up that. Girl, just looking back at those early days, it does make me think, I'm like, wow, I'm at week 26. Like, it really just flew by. And it almost makes you want to just not like rewind but it makes you want to just like cherish every moment even more it's so funny you guys i was looking at ultrasound pictures and <laughs> even from just like a couple months ago and i was like oh thank you so little i was like why are you growing up so fast like i haven't even met her like girl chill like you haven't even met her at the last ultrasound i actually got some 3d pictures you guys i've gotten them in the past but it was you know it was hard to tell what the baby was gonna look like it just kind of looked like a little gummy bear etc from the last time i showed you guys a 3d picture the last time i showed you guys a 3d picture she looked like a straight up like a little like a little a gummy bear she was probably this small i mean that's what blows my mind i see ultrasound pictures i'm like i can't believe she was like this and now she's literally like this she's like the size of a i don't know sometimes apps make no sense my app literally told me the other day like oh baby's the size of a pomegranate 12 inches long when the hell have you ever seen a one foot long pomegranate? The whole fruit thing, like, it literally makes no sense. I don't know if it's talking about the weight of it or what, but sometimes they make no freaking sense, you guys. I just go based off of inches. Last time we went to our ultrasound, she was one pound, 10 ounces. <gasps> Actually, I didn't show you guys that footage. Let me show you guys right now when we went to go see her. <gasps> okay, so this is um, 23 weeks and so so days i think it was like 23 weeks and four days or something so here's that
she has gotten so big and this was also the first ultrasound we saw like after we knew her gender i know i posted on my stories one time how i said that she was measuring ahead she's still measuring ahead uh but i feel like she goes through like growth spurts or something because i believe like weeks ago she was measuring like, her legs were literally measuring like three weeks ahead and if i'm not mistaken at this ultrasound her legs were measuring like a little ahead but just like maybe a week or so and then um her belly is the one thing that measures ahead all the time the belly like i actually googled it and it says that sometimes the belly being bigger has actually means that they'll be like bigger and like you know chubbier she always measures ahead but her belly measures like the most ahead and it's just funny to me because I always like picture her like a frog like I don't know I'm just gonna show you guys a picture of our little girl I feel like the 23 week 3d ultrasound was the first ultrasound that I saw her face and I was like oh my gosh I could like envision this face you know what I mean like you see a baby in ultrasounds and they always just look the same I feel like before she was just kind of like bones you know how like in the beginning they're really just like they is skin and bones truly and then later on they start to like bulk on so it's hard to tell what they're gonna look like because i feel like they all kind of look like aliens but at the 23 week ultrasound i feel like i could see features like i could see her and i was like eh, what like you look like a baby i still cannot tell who she looks like like i don't know if it's just me my family thinks that they could tell who she looks like they say that she like has my nose and they're like she kind of looks like Rose, but she looks like me it's hard to tell like what she'll look like in actual flesh but she does look like a baby to me now i have a feeling she's going through a girl spurt i have a feeling and like i haven't gone to my okay this was at 23 weeks i am currently gonna be 26 weeks i'm having an ultrasound at 27 weeks exactly 27 weeks i don't know if i'm pushing it but i feel like she's gonna weigh close to three pounds if not like the three pound mark at 27 weeks is that too big I don't know because she weighed one pound 10 ounces at 23 weeks and let me tell you after that i feel like my back has been killing me like literally i'll get into all this in a video i've had like back pain where i can't even get comfortable i actually got into yoga recently like legit my fat ass got into yoga like i've literally been into yoga and i've been like so excited with it like this bitch into yoga and it's working it's actually fantastic. I had been doing walks and stuff, but the walks, I feel like they didn't do shit. I started searching up like actual like prenatal yoga, like for pregnant people, and even like just pelvic exercises and stretches. YouTube is great. Um, I actually ordered some yoga stuff, but getting into that and it's helping my back a lot. I actually feel so comfortable now that I've been doing yoga. It's truly life changing. Nice <laughs> skinny, you. Nice skinny. All right, guys. So. What were you watching right now? Uh, so we were watching a movie. We were watching Scary Movie 3. Honestly, I wasn't even watching it, Loki. It was funny. So I ended up taking a shower. My hair air dried. Actually, it air dried really nicely. I thought I, I was going to get all poofy. I need to take a shower. I need to take a shower, too. Yeah. You guys, that is it for this vlog. Uh, I don't know if this was like an update. I kind of actually want to do like a full update on my uh, my main channel. Just sitting down and going into everything. How we're like thinking about prepping for nursery. We kind of like have a theme ish In baby names like we're actually thinking of like legit names now you guys i feel like before i was like i'm blank i'm blank as hell and now we got like the list Even narrowed that, down yeah from like the point where we were before like we don't know if it's a boy or a girl to the point where, like it's a girl i feel now. like we kind of know what the name is but not and really like we name. don't know yeah girl we kind of do we, oh my gosh we're getting closer to meeting our baby i'm gonna do a whole video on my main channel should just touch base on everything because i'm like getting like all these other crazy symptoms like i mentioned uh earlier i'll i'll go into full detail on all that stuff because i feel like a lot is happening since i'm going into the third trimester like in literally like a week or so wow the last trimester <laughs> but anyways you guys thank you guys so much for watching and seeing squishy and i together <laughs> right here hey. what do you guys think the baby looks like All right, you guys, well, I hope you guys have a good night, morning, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Yes. I'm so excited to, you know, post another, another vlog and just continue to vlog and post content and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.